Uh, Suggs, you're next. I only found out Madness were trying to replace me when I saw an advert looking for a new singer. Right. Oh, really? <laughs> what, um, what era of Madness? Quite early on. 78, this was. Oh, so you'd had no hits at this point? No, definitely not. Was there a good feeling in the band? Or were you thinking, mm, there might be something up? So... Well, it wasn't until I saw the advert. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going great. Yeah, I was very surprised. Yeah. You what, thought yeah. it must be love, yeah? That's very good. <laughs> but it turned out to be a bit of an embarrassment. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on! <laughs> I'm enjoying it, even if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is that another one of those songs? <laughs> I saw this advert in Where a, was it, by the way, the advert? It, it, was in a, it was in a music paper called Melody Maker. Yeah, I remember oh, yeah. that. And I was just looking through that and I saw an advert that said, semi-professional North London band seek professionally-minded singer. Why risk letting you know by putting the name Madness in the advert? Well, this is it. They didn't they put didn't the name in. Oh, so how did you find out? Because I seen the keyboard player's phone number at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to a phone box and I you called didn't. him. You didn't. You actually phoned him. What happened was I put on a posh voice, as you would, you oh, know. Please said, do it, please do <clears> it. <throat> I said, hello, Mike. <laughs> I'm a bit of a singer. I'm, I'm inquiring about the job in your band. Then he's thinking, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of interest, what's happened to the old one? He said, ah, oh, we couldn't keep him no more. He wasn't taking it seriously. He was going to football on Saturdays instead of country rehearsals. Was that true? And that was true. <laughs> and so how did the conversation then carry on? You absolute rotter, I said. <laughs> <laughs> and, then... and he said, oh, is that you, Suggs? Listen, we could do if you're back in the band, actually, playing drums. I said, well, what's happened to John, the drummer? He said, oh, no, he's auditioning for singer. <laughs> no. And they got a couple of gigs with a new singer, and then he left. And with a few gigs imminent, oh, it turns out I was the only one who knew the words. So they had to <laughs> ask me back. <laughs> How long after that incident were you on Top of the Pops? Well, we were on Top of the Pops in 1979, so wow. it wasn't that long. Yeah, yeah. so... Things and you almost up. left the band? No. They almost chucked me out. Well, that's... Yeah, I was being nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what do, what do you think, Angelica? Is that the truth? I, th I think it could be true. Especially, you know, when new bands get together, they're ambitious, they want... Mm. To make it big. Oh, what do we think? A tricky one. You think it's true? I'm happy to go true. Go on, we'll say, we'll say true. It's true. Okay. Was it true or was it a lie? It was in fact true. <laughs> 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 <laughs>